Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Cultured Cooking here at Feed the Mass. My name is Chef Jamal. We're here with our Black History Month edition and we're bringing you Not Your Mama's Collard Greens. We're so excited to give you this awesome, tasty, vegan edition of a very Southern dish. So we're using an Instapot here today. That's gonna get us a nice quick turnaround instead of three hours on this dish. Then we have some salt and pepper always, some water to braise our greens in, our beautiful rinsed collard greens. And then we have our, our mushrooms, some miso paste, coconut oil, garlic, and onion. Now the first thing that we wanna get started with is chopping our vegetables. So let's get started with our onion. Okay. So for this guy, it's right down the middle. We're just gonna use half. And then we're just gonna take that outer skin off because it's super tough and it's hard to break down at times. There we go. Nice clean cutting board. Great. Now, we're gonna take off a little bit of the stem and a little bit of the butt. And we're gonna give this a nice rough chop. Make some cuts here. And just straight down. Great, we're gonna use all these bits and pieces here. Recycling and bop, bop. Great, so these are our onions. Set this to the side. And now we have our garlic. And we're just gonna do a mince on these. So instead of going all the way through and chopping and chopping, we're just gonna get this nice and flat. Right, look at that. And now we just have to go through. And just like that, we have some minced garlic. All right, so now, for our mushrooms, right? So the mushrooms come with a little bit of dirt. Some people like to rinse that under water or use a little brush. We just have a handy dandy little napkin here that we wet and we're just gonna take off some of that dirt there, just nice and gently. These mushrooms are delicate. So we just wanna treat it with some care, you know? So as we clean them off, put those on the cutting board. See how we're taking off all of that dirt right there? We just don't want a lot of dirt, just a little bit, you know, a little extra earthiness and flavor. So these mushrooms are replacing the pork product that we would normally use in here, and it's going to give it that umami flavor, right? It's going to give it really nice really nice flavor in there so there we go so now we're going to take the stem off of these guys just like that nice simple chop So now we're gonna save all of our vegetable trimmings here. We like to do that if we wanna make a nice little veggie stock or chicken stock, so we have that in handy. Just put that in a nice freezer bag so you always have it on hand. Okay, so now we have our mushrooms cleaned and de-stemmed, right? And we're just gonna give these a nice chop. Now these are gonna be smaller, 
All right, I'm gonna get these nice and brown. And we get these into the pan and get as much flavor as possible. All right. All right. Mushrooms, beautiful. Okay. Clean off our board. Great. So now our collard greens, right? So we gave these a nice little rinse because they are dirty. And what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna take off a little bit of the stem here, right? And then we're gonna keep the rest of this. And if we wanna make this efficient, we can stack up a couple, right? Stack up a couple of these. Work smarter, not harder. And we can take off stems here and then get these all together <clears throat> and kind of just roll this up so we can go through and make some nice, easy cuts. Now we want to get these into bite-sized pieces, so be mindful when you're cutting these. a nice little chop right down the middle here. Bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces, look at that. Okay, we're just gonna repeat that till all of these are done. Now collard greens are a little tough, right? So that's why we're using this braising method in order to break it down so it could become super edible. We're just gonna repeat the process with these greens. Beautiful stems, nice. And then we're gonna roll these up again. All right? Give it a nice little chop down here. These in half again. There we go. Bite-sized pieces. Bite-sized pieces. Great. So we have all of our veggies prepped, ready to rock and roll. So now we're going to get started with our Instant Pot, right? So we're going to get this on and we're going to pressure cook this. But before we do that, we need to saute all of our veggies. So let's get this down to saute. Now, if you're using a traditional pot at home, we want to start off with a medium to high heat, get the onions started to cook. Uh, we want to get that coconut fat melted down. Um, and then this is going to braise for three hours in a traditional pan. But for here, we're going to knock this out in about 30 minutes or so. Okay, so we're bringing this up to temp. And we have our coconut oil that we're going to have as our fat. All right, so now we're going to start with our Instant Pot, right? So we have our fat in there. That's going to be our coconut oil. We're gonna get the pan nice and hot, and we're gonna start off with our onions. Get all of those out of there. Great. Get these going. Then a little bit of salt, because we season as we go. A little bit of pepper. Perfect. garlic. A little bit. Pinch of salt. Great. 
give that a stir because we don't want the garlic to burn. We just want it to get a little fragrance. I can smell the garlic, so I'm going to start moving on to the mushrooms. All right, get those in the pan. Fantastic. A little bit more salt. Great. Nice little stir. Everything's in there. And we're just going to let that cook down. We're going to get the mushrooms to start cooking, but not fully, just a little bit, right? And then we're going to add our miso paste in, right? We're going to get that for about a minute or two. And then we'll add our collard greens after that. We have a beautiful base here for our dish. We have all this onion and garlic and salt and pepper and mushrooms. It's gonna be super, super tasty. You don't wanna rush this part of the process though because this is where we're getting a lot of our flavor from. It's great. So at this point we have our onions that are a little translucent. We have some fawn developing at the bottom of the pan. That's great. The mushrooms are starting to get a little brown and our garlic is not burnt. That is where we want to be right now. Now we're gonna leave this and not bother it so the mushrooms can cook up a bit. So back to the pan here. We have some of this liquid coming out of the mushrooms. That's great. So now at this point, I want to stop them from cooking down any longer. I want to add the miso, get that toasted. So add that miso in there. Don't be shy. I'm going to add a decent amount here. Nice, heavy dollop to say. And we're just going to get that at the bottom of the pan and get that, get that going. Leave that there for about two minutes. Pinch more salt, not a lot. A little bit more pepper, not a lot. All right. Now, stir this up. Now what we wanna do is, we're gonna try to deglaze the pan just a little bit, right? So as it's hot, just a little bit of water, great. We're gonna keep the rest of that water for the rest of the cooking process. Scraping the bottom of the pan to get all of that wonderful fawn that we developed. Extra, extra flavor. I'm telling you, these greens are gonna be so good. You won't miss the pork that's not in here. Look at that beautiful, rich color. We're gonna taste this, all right? I'm gonna taste one of the mushrooms. Mmm, very rich, a little salty, which is great because we're going to add a lot of water. Okay, now it's time to add the collard greens. Throw that all in there. All the bits. All right, we have about three cups of water. Pour that right in. Together. Now I'm going to add a touch more water here, about half a cup. Great. And now we're going to set this to pressure on high for 30 minutes and when we come back we'll have some beautiful collard greens. So it's been about 30 minutes, right? And our greens should be cooked. So let's check this out. Oh yeah, that looks really good. They're nice and soft and tender and cooked down. There's all this wonderful liquid at the bottom. Let's give this a nice little taste. Just 
a little bit more salt and it's golden. That's why we season as we go. A little pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt too. Now, if you want, since we have so much liquid in here, you can cook this down just a little bit, but I'm gonna leave this kind of soupy and brothy so we have something to put over our wonderful rice that we made. Okay, so we have some white rice that we cooked off. Oh yeah, this is great. I'm just gonna put some of that right on our plate here. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna get our greens. Just right on top. Then we're gonna get some of that wonderful liquid. So rich. All right, so there you have it. Not your mama's collard greens with a little bit of rice there. All right, guys, this is really tasty. Until next time, I'm Chef Jamal here at Feed the Mass. This is our Black History Month, Not Your Mama Collard Greens. We are excited for the rest of the year, so check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Until next time. salty. It's rich. The greens are cooked. Mushrooms. This will go great with potatoes, cornbread. Oh my goodness. This is a treat. This is a treat. Yes.